Spider-Man, Spider-Man Bake me a cake as fast as a spider can Everyone knows a tune to that famous banger and I'm gutting it it didn't turn up as I was boshing around New York City in Marvel and Sony's new game And there's a lot of boshing about You bosh it around on your webs You bosh it up buildings really fast You bosh it off water towers which in turn makes it faster to generally bosh about It's a big old sloppy bosh fest basically I played the game from the start for about two hours and fair play to Sony and that because you start the game by absolutely murking the Dom DeLuise of the Marvel Universe, Kingpin. It's a good fight to start things off with, I mean, it's no f***ing God of War, but there's rockets and that in it. And with Big Willy safely behind bars, the city opens up so you can bosh to your heart's content. What that basically means is swinging around the city, fixing police transmission towers, and then snooping in on police radios, then beating up naughty men and stopping them from being pricks. You do this a lot in the first two hours, so much so that I just started ignoring the police scanner in the end. Like, I don't mind helping out now and again, but I did feel like the cops were taking the piss a bit. We were just about to call for backup. Of course you were, mate. The only crimes I was stopping by the end were the ones where you swing down on top of a car and f*** up the robbers inside. It looks wicked and makes you feel awesome. But I basically then was just sitting about wishing that some bad ones would go on the rob and nick a car. I don't think wishing for bad stuff to happen is really in keeping with Spider-Man's ethos though, so I ended up feeling quite bad. Luckily, I cheered myself up by swinging around the Windy City, which will never not be a good laugh. And the game lets you unlock mad tricks and that that make you look like basically Tony Hawk's but in the sky. You can also buy mad suits that make you look awesome too. There was loads that I didn't get to see, but it's a shame you don't get to see Spidey changing from costume to costume because he could have been like spider protector The only problem is you're constantly swinging about to the same bit of music. It's a good song, don't get me wrong, even though it sounds exactly like the Avengers theme, but again, that is a banger, so I'm not mad. But it feels like they've missed a trick a little bit by not having Peter listening to a f***ing Zoom or Walkman or whatever the cheapo Sony iPod is called. Especially when you think Sony do music as well as games and films and that. So you could have got all the people that Sony music owns, like f***ing Beyonce, Timberlakes, the Mannix Craig David And No, not Chris Brown, he's a c Yes, Chris Brown is definitely a c Everyone in the game makes a big thing about the fact that Spider-Man has been Spider-Man for eight years in that world. This is good because you don't have to do all the boring shit, like watching him getting his powers, or having to watch lovely Uncle Ben get f***ing ganked again. But obviously, you still want to know what he's been up to. So, the game introduces a little thing to fill you in on these gaps, which is sticky backpacks hidden all around the city. And the idea is that they're bags Spider-Man somehow forgotten about. I thought these were going to be like the memories in that Zelda Breath of the Wild, but in this, you actually got to play the bits of Spider-Man's life that he was remembering, so you know what he's been doing for eight years? That would have been good, wouldn't it? Well, that's not what happens at all. Instead, it's just f***ing 50-odd bags all over the city full of shit like menus where him and Mary Jane have been eating and that. Why has he got so many bags, though? And not only that, who buys that many bags and then just forgets about them? It's absolutely mental, and it properly did my head in. To be honest, I know it feels like I'm having a go quite a bit, but I just think I was expecting something a little bit less gamey. I know that sounds mad, because this is a game, but running about beating up the same faceless goons, unlocking transmission towers, and finding loads of f***ing backpacks just feels a bit boring now. I know everyone's been banging on about wanting to get a Spidey game that was basically like that old awesome Spider-Man 2 game, which you know what? You've got what you wanted. This is exactly that. I hope you're f***ing happy with yourselves. If you like that, then watch this other video we did about We Happy Few, or watch this one about pure farming, because no f***ers watch that.